Welcome to Digital Asset News. Take a top stories in crypto and bring them out of bite-sized pieces. Today, just as the thumbnail suggests, there's some good news on the horizon and we really are in the right place at the right time. The problem is sometimes we just have to take a step back, not take ourselves too seriously and take a look what's going on around us as far as the big picture. So for, to do that, we're going to first, we're going to do a little update as far as like what happened with uh, yesterday's video and a little bit of error on my part. We're going to take a look at uh, who's actually getting into or on the block. We're going to take a look at how uh, Brian Brooks, yeah, that Brian Brooks from the OCC is now in the realm of Voyager as far as uh, the brokerage Voyager, cryptos and digital assets. And lastly, we'll take a look at uh, some pop culture and how Gwyneth Paltrow getting into crypto. So before we do all that, first, let's take Take a look at what is going on into the market. So today, another sideways days. I mean, it's 0.35% uh, up and all the different tokens are either sideways or a little bit up. I think Luna had a, a, pr a pretty big day. So congratulations, all you Luna holders. Not really too much going on for there. What I really want to do is just get into today's or one of the top stories. And one of the things that I need to really talk about is yesterday's video, which we had, uh, it was all about the big mistake. And I and I talk about how, you know, there's this one thing that you really shouldn't do. And what I did was I, there was an old video uh, featuring Nick Murray. Nick Murray, if you don't know, he's been uh, in Wall Street for decades. He's been in the investment uh, game for like uh, 50 plus years. He is the advisor to the advisors. And what's crazy about it is that he's seen everything and been everywhere, uh, you know, as far as like investments, and he's still so optimistic. And what makes him optimistic was really three parts. And we talked about in the other video, where actually there was supposed to be three parts where he talked about just look at the history just look at where we're going look at the trend line and the last part was the big mistake and for some reason i had cut it out so the big mistake <laughs> in all honesty was on me so i want you to listen it's only one minute and it is and i've actually posted this on twitter twice because uh, it was so good this is the best investment advice i have ever gotten and when you listen to this Think to yourself how many people try to make things so complex when it doesn't have to be that complex. Listen to a gentleman who has 50 plus years of experience. Just break it down in the simplest way you possibly can get it. Let's take a listen. The stock market in the United States in our lifetimes, I mean, since World War II, has gone down an average of 30 percent, an average of every five years, kind of whether it needed to or not. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what was the difference in all that time between investment success and investment failure? I will argue that it, it, it was the single mistake of mistaking the temporary declines for a permanent loss, panicking out, thereby creating the, the permanent loss that you, were, that you said you were fleeing from. Right. Whereas if you had just sat there, Never mind adding to your positions, which most people should be doing over most of their accumulating lifetimes, if not all of their accumulating lifetimes. But but put that aside. Put just if you just sat there, the temporary decline will go away, and it will and it will be then followed inevitably by a period of above average returns. That's the cycle. Right. Doesn't that make sense? And this, and like yesterday, you'll see me had cut it out. I wanted to say the same thing, which is this. It doesn't matter. Like it just, it's the same thing he's talking about. And that minute is the same thing we've been talking about here on the channel forever. Dollar cost average. When in doubt, zoom out. Don't spend more than you can actually uh, afford to lose. And just look at the big picture what's going on. We know right now that the market is not the greatest, but just like Nick had talked about, Things are going to be okay because in the long run, works out. So let me know what you think about that in the comment section. Let's move on to our next piece where we talk about look who's on the block. And I think this is just one of those pieces where you have to take a look and step back and go, okay, well, this is some of the good news that we've been waiting for that's already out there that I think we forget about because we're so focused in on what's happening in the market, which is, hey, we didn't hit 100,000 Bitcoin. Hey, we didn't hit a Ethereum 10K. So I know it's uh, disheartening, but again, I still think we're in the right place at the right time. Just gonna take a little bit more uh, more time. So the first thing, this was a uh, tweet sent out by Blockworks. If you don't follow them, they're at Blockworks on Twitter. And it just talked about, hey, these are the businesses and industries that are getting into crypto. And to prove it, here's the different uh, postings that they've had for all their jobs. The first one is Reddit. Reddit is hiring a senior engineer to help them build an NFT platform for millions of people to trade NFTs. 
this, they state that NFTs will play a key role. So that's one. That's pretty good. I think uh, a lot of us have uh, heard about Reddit, so that's very nice. Also, Facebook, Meta looks to integrate crypto and payments. And of course, yes, they try to do uh, their, their Libra. That failed. And then DM, I don't know where that's going. But it looks like they're probably getting the hint that they can't control everything. So hopefully they're getting more crypto. The manager will be responsible for redesigning implementation of process that, that support payments and cryptocurrency. So even if you don't, if you think, well, they're just gonna use their own thing, sure, but look at this. Visa is all in on crypto. They have a partnership with USDC. They have they have a posting for the director will be responsible for creating new revenue streams via new crypto products. Maybe Visa is coming out with their own thing. Also be responsible for seeking interesting investment opportunities. Also, Walmart. Walmart is hiring a crypto expert lead to lead its crypto strategy and product creation. Job also hints that Walmart will seek to invest in crypto related companies. And there's the ad right there, digital currency and cryptocurrency product lead. Blockworks, I mean, sorry, Amazon. Amazon aims to help increase crypto adoption. Job indicates that the expert will work with financial institutions and help them drive change in crypto. Job role hints that the firm will also uh, help companies custody their digital assets, which is no surprise because Amazon likes to do everything that they get their hands into. Fidelity, trillion dollar asset manager. They've been around for quite some time and uh, they've been in crypto and now they're actually looking to hire more people. Apple looks to hire an expert to lead an alternative payments partnership. Candidates should be experienced in working with digital wallets. What does that mean to you? The firm's CEO recently disclosed that he owned crypto. So why wouldn't Apple be getting in on it? And then also JP Morgan, I'm just gonna skip that, nobody cares. Nike is hiring for the metaverse and they've already actually gone to a company to uh, scan and put their uh, a representation of their products of shoes into the metaverse. I forgot the name. Recreat, I forgot, but uh, they've actually already done it, but and they're gonna actually get more into it. Virtual material designer, too, or as it states, more for the metaverse plays. And that's it for what we see right here. But just remember this it's not just those companies, think about all the banks, all the hedge fund managers, all the different people that have got into it that just three years ago were laughing at us, laughing at us, and now here they are trying to join on us. And you know what? I'm happy. I'm glad that they're here and I'm ecstatic of what this is. So again, I know that we sometimes we, we see a little bit too narrow if we just kind of zoom out and see how things are going. I think things are looking pretty good. Let me just think about that in the comments section. Let's move on to our second to last piece. I think this is pretty big. Bitfury CEO Brian Brooks joins board of Voyager Digital. If you don't know this guy, uh, he is the former OCC, Officer of the Comptroller of the Currency uh, for the United States. And if anybody can help you guide and navigate through regulations and really is a smart individual to really get crypto where it should go, this is the guy. And guess who snagged him? Well, Voyager did. For some reason, he was with at Binance US for a little bit, and that did not last long. I would love to figure out exactly why it didn't work. It was a vague uh, response, but, you know, sometimes you just go to where quality goes. So this is where they stay. Former acting comptroller of the currency helps to build firm out or Voyager its platform globally and navigate the regulatory environment. Here's what's going on. Brooks joins the board as an independent non-executive director and his appointment is effective immediately, not next year, right now. And he states, as one of only two publicly traded crypto first trading platforms with exponential funded account growth of 23 times this year, Voyager is already proven in the marketplace. So says Brooks. I didn't say it. XOCC did. The next challenge for the company, and one I look forward to being part of, is building out the platform for global scale and navigate the regulatory environment in the US and beyond. Brooks became the CEO of Bitfury. I another uh, company, mining application, ASICs, operating of mining data centers in October, and now he's joining over to Voyager. I think he's actually having dual, dual roles. I think he stepped down from the, as a CEO. Let me know in the comments. This is how I read it. Uh, he added on his profile page that, and this is pretty interesting about, again, where Brian Brooks is, because it's not just like he just sat in a position doing anything. Here's what he did. 
He led federal efforts to modernize the National Bank Charter, expand the scope of marketplace lending partnerships, reform and modernize the Community Reinvestment Act, and define the scope of permissible crypto activities while in the position. He also launched Project Reach, a partnership of large bank CEOs, fintech founders, minority deposit institutions, and civil rights organizations to correcting barriers to financial inclusion for underserved Americans. Brian Brooks is extremely well-versed in crypto, banking and the legal and regulatory aspects of crypto voyager chairman philip eaton said and finally he states he can assist voyager in the next phase of our growth around the globe especially as we expand into nfts DeFi, and the metaverse so look i know some people have been have had uh, problems with voyager in the past we talk about growing pains i do my best to reach out to voyager and get those things rectified but um you know in all honesty Things have actually been going pretty well for them for quite some time, even though there's a little bit gaps, but nobody's perfect. However, what I do like about Voyager, and you have to pay attention to this, is look at the different projects that not only have a good team, but continue to grow and actually expand what they're trying to do in the best way possible. So not only do you have a, sol a solid team in the beginning, but you're like, okay, we're going to do this. We're actually bringing these people here. We're going to actually grow into the EU. We're actually going to have this, this different program that we have as far as like the uh, token performance program. And just take a look at where things are going and how they actually build out and improve. So let me know what you think about that in the comment section. And then lastly, this is just for funsies, Gwyneth Paltrow, <laughs> is in is now into crypto but just like um you had uh megan b stallion and a couple other celebrities they're working with cash app and it states uh here this is from gwyneth's uh youth or twitter account buying crypto often has often felt exclusionary in order to d democratize who can participate at cash app is now making it easy to gift bitcoin i'm giving out half a million dollars with a bitcoin for the holidays check that out Follow at Cash App Plus, drop your cash tag below with Cash App gifting to enter. And that's what's going on. So look, I know right now this is not how we wanted to end 2021. But in all honesty, I think we're still in the right place at the right time. And just like Nick in the very beginning talked about, don't mistake these short-term dips for long-term depletion of funds. And really, in essence, is what he's saying. Look at the big picture and look where we're going and look how things are building. Anyhow, that's it for today. So look, I know it was quick, a lot of things going on, but if you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing. A lot of things we talk about are time sensitive and that's it for today. So thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it and I'll see you on the next one.